Setting default email addresses in Exchange Server 2016. In previous video, we have created some recipients, some mailboxes, some groups, some contacts, some shared mailbox. However, if you notice that whenever we are creating a new recipient, the email address, the default email address for those that, for those recipients is set to an additional email domain that we have created later. Like we had itsense.com earlier and we added another domain abc123.com and somehow this abc123.com became our default domain. I don't want that. Yes, we want to receive emails for itsense.com as well as for abc123.com but we would like to keep our default email addresses at itsense.com as well as the reply address also to itsense.com not abc123.com so how did it happen well if you recall you see this is what I'm trying to tell you all changed to abc123.com and previously it was appearing as at itsense.com. So how exactly did it happen? Well, as I said earlier, whenever we create or whenever we installed Exchange Server, Exchange Server automatically create one default accepted domain, which is based on Active Directory name. Our Active Directory domain name and our external domain name is the same. And in one of the last video, we have created one accepted domain called abc123.com. When, when we created this abc123.com and we create email address policy for this abc123.com, it got priority higher than itsense.com because itsense.com is based on default policy which has the lowest priority and as you can see I'm inside the property of default policy which is for itsense.com domain but unfortunately there is no option that I can change the priority of this default policy so if I go to abc123.com policy, here also I cannot make it lowest, right? What to do? If this option also grayed out. Well, if I want to bring back my itsense.com domain name to be default and with the highest priority let's say in the future I might buy five more additional domains but at the same time I would like to keep itsense.com as a default email address as well as for reply address so in this case what we can do we can create itsense.com not as default domain which has been already it's already there as you can see now in one of our recipient each recipient has two addresses right and abc123.com is set to default not itsense.com if I want to change this I have to deselect this checkbox which says automatically update email addresses based on email address policy once I remove this then I can select itsense.com 
address as the reply address. Okay, but let's say if I have hundreds of users, or hundreds of mailbox users, and I want to do that for all of them, so I have to repeat it for 100 times, isn't it? No, this is not a right solution, right? Imagine I have hundred thousands of mailboxes and for each mailbox doing it manually, it's not practical. So what should we do? Well, we know now that for single user it's easy. If I want to do it for a couple of users, maybe for my executives or a couple of users who wants to keep itsense.com email address, I can do that and unselect this checkbox and I can set the reply address. But for all users, we have to play over here under email address policies. All I have to do, create another email address policy for our itsense.com domain. We have already one default, but the problem is the default has the lowest priority. And I want to create something with the highest priority so that even in the future, I add at five or let's say 10 additional domains. I can always increase the priority of this domain and keep itsense.com with the highest priority and keep it as a default email address as well as default reply address. So I add, I'm adding another email address policy. Uh, uh, it's okay with me alias and this is it for all my recipients. I want to create a policy which will generate email address for all my recipients of alias at itsense.com. And here I clicked save too early, otherwise I should have clicked over here and change the priority. But anyway, we can always do that. Let me show you. It's unapplied. Let's go to the settings here and change it to one. Now this one will have highest priority. Again, policy will not be applied. I have to go to details pane, and that's what it says. When I will click apply, it will give me a warning that more than 3,000 recipients. Uh, I have to use commandlet. See? So itsense.com has the highest priority now, number one, and abc123.com has priority number two. If I go to recipients now and refresh, voila, now all their default email addresses has been changed to itsense.com because now we have another email policy email address policy which says itsense.com type of email addresses have higher priority. And see, now when I go to Christy Jade property again, I see itsense.com address as default address, which will be used as re reply address. So Christy can receive for abc123.com and itsense.com, but when she will reply to the message, it will go as christyjade at itsense.com. So this is how we can change email address policies, their priorities, and manipulate them. Thank you for watching.